Manny de la Rosa, NBC Palm Springs. Yes, well, Manny de la Rosa. Oh, Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. A big, 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 big congrats on Queer Eye Season 9. And let me tell you, it's so nice to see new episodes of the show. It's all about love. It's really the show we need right now. Oh, Amen. I could not agree more. Amen. Agree. So, yeah, what uh, a great smile. It's so good to see you. <laughs> let's begin with the virgin of the group, Jeremiah Me Brown. Oh. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've been this that way. He's a extraordinary chair bear, according to Karamo. <laughs> How does it feel being the newbie of the pack? Joining them after eight seasons, were there any trepidations from your part or were these guys nice to you? No, no, no. Watch feel... what you say. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, it's been absolutely amazing. I've had the time of my life. I didn't expect to make friends, like dear friends like I did and to have this family, which has been the most beautiful part of the entire experience. But no, it's been amazing, transformative for me personally to be a part of the family. God, you're so welcome. I know, you guys, <laughs> they really are the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> on, the, on the other side of the spectrum, Mr. Jonathan, nice to see you again. And me too, honey. Uh, how does it feel being together again for nine seasons with most of the original cast? I mean, is the magic still there? I felt like, I mean, we were in Vegas, which there's a lot of magic shows in Vegas, so I was feeling very magical with our time together. But I mean, really, all of us, I think, in some way are an artist. Like, we are all artists in our own, in our, oh shit. Oh, thank God it wasn't mine. It was mine. But it's not mine, thank God. Okay. Um, I didn't mean to cut. Um, uh, eh. Anyway, uh, anytime you get to be with people who you love and you get to create art together, that is so magical. And really what we get to do is like, so singular. Like, I think a lot of people don't get to go do makeovers on people and get to learn about them and try to create a safe space for them. So. That's always just such a magical experience. But yeah, I felt like it was extra, extra magical with the Vegas sparkle. Oh, and Anthony from episode one's showgirl, where you guys were looking for the package, all the way to the Merlin <laughs> episode. Not that it's package. been fun, but what is your most favorite episode? By the way, Anthony? a gay man did not write that, looking for the package. <laughs> yeah. It was not a gay man, just to let you know. Although she wasn't, she is right. fam. She is fam, she yeah, is fam. She is, she is, she is definitely yeah. fam. I'm so sorry. What was your question? ADHD oh, what, is a real thing. What is your most favorite episode, Anthony? Oh, my favorite, most favorite episode. I think that would depend on the day, but I think uh, there's been a lot of attention brought to, I think a lot of people have seen Paula's episode because she's the first one. And I think in terms of, I always think of like takeaways that I can kind of apply to my life. And, you know, there's obviously been a lot of talk about like what it's been like for Jeremiah being on the show. And he's been reminding us that, or at least I'll speak for myself, like he's reminded me of how lucky I am to get to do this and to be a part of this transformation that all of these people kind of go through. And after doing nine seasons of this show, I think it's really important to, to constantly remember that there will never be a shortage of stories to tell of the human experience. Like it just, it continues to, mm -hmm. just when I think I'm like done saying everything, I meet someone who kind of opens up my mind, my perspective, a new different way of thinking that kind of questions me. And so it just, it never really gets old. But I think today I'm having, a, I have a special place in my heart for Paula. Aww. I hope I can have that excitement about literally everything when I am where she is at in life as a grandmother. And I will be a grandmother, Aww. not a grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I, cry, I cried on that episode. <laughs> and by the way, what is the most, what about the most challenging aspect this season? Do you know I didn't uh, I didn't find this season challenging. I uh, this is gonna sound so, <laughs> but when you get to go to work with people that you're obsessed with, that you that you have so much respect for and appreciation for, it didn't feel like work. Look, sometimes the days are long. Sometimes it's hard. Like Jeremiah had to get this wedding venue sorted in three days, which was such a feat. However, it doesn't matter how hard those challenges are it doesn't really feel like it's hard work when you're doing it with people that you love. And I know that sounds so cheese and so cliche, but it's cliche for a reason, it's true. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm gonna give you an answer for Tan really quick, just because that wasn't true and it was from the depths of your heart. But I will just say, because we are the two that have to like, we touch our heroes a lot physically, because like, yeah, yeah physically, because like I do the hair, Tan does the clothes. And I shouldn't say this to you because you're in Palm Springs. And also we came from New Orleans, which was also very hot, but Vegas was really, really hot. There, it really, towards the end, it got really hot. So doing like hair when it's really hot outside like that, like making sure it's cute, making sure that people aren't pitting out through their clothes, yeah. like too heavy of clothes. However, for the first month, we were able was to stunning. wear outerwear and sweaters. And so for the first time ever, the elements weren't my 
my or did nemesis. a favor, yes. Like they but May in Vegas me. is hard to like dress. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. like not, but Palm Springs is hot too. But it, it's just <laughs> it's a steamy in Vegas. Yeah, it was steamy. Oh, I, I'm so sorry, Karama. I, I ran out of time, but no I, a big, 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 big congrats on Queer Eye again. So glad you. you guys are back together again and may you all have a magical holiday thank you my thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.